Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen divine mother, goddess Yamaya, your intuitive guide, and I am doing a new intuitive reading, okay? Something about a new, okay? Because I'm trying to say a new, but a new is a word which is like a fresh beginning or a fresh start, okay? Which is something someone could be getting ready to um, have with this Ace of Swords being the overall energy at the top of the deck. Um, but this is going to be a read for my sun, my moon, um, and rising sign specifically for Venus as well as, uh, I mean, not for Venus, okay? So this could be um, highly expected. Whatever sign I do say is going to be highly expected in your Venus. So keep that in mind. If you do know your placements in your natal charts, um, do look for, um, this is going to be a Gemini read, okay? So you can have Gemini and Venus, all right, or Moon. Um, but Aside from that, um, these placements could be in your Venus, as I'm mentioning, or your um, South or North Node as well, okay? Um, so, we're just going to get into it. Um, I hope everybody has been doing good, off to a great start, or you are um, at home and relaxed after a, a, a beautiful weekend, okay? Um, but yeah, we have the Ace of Swords. All right. We have the Four of Pentacles, a King of Cups, okay, Seven of Wands, all right, Nine of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Strength card. All right, with the Eight of Cups. All right, so um, we have the King of Cups in reverse out here um, in your energy. Okay, Gemini, this could be someone you're dealing with, all right? Um, this could be someone who um, you will look at as someone who could be very blunt, someone who's very outspoken, okay? They um, do not hold their tongue or bite their tongue. This is someone who's not a people pleaser when it comes to expressing their emotions as well as telling it how they feel like it is, all right? Um, this is someone who is usually emotionally withdrawn or they could be, but the overall energy is that this person is emotionally withdrawn um, often, okay? Um, this is someone who's not a people person, all right? Um, someone who could be very negative, very grumpy often all right and um, they can have water placements in their charts um, if you are a Gemini and this is you as a male okay then um, you could be very you know always grumpy and irritated often agi things can agitate you um, pretty quickly all right especially if things especially if people are liars all right and don't tell the truth you're someone who you stand on principles of truth and honesty okay you expect people to um, really use their integrity when they're communicating and work with, working with you all right especially when it comes to business you prefer to work with people who's very honest that way you know that you guys are getting the job done and what you are trying to do is going to be done okay you don't like to deal with people who bullshit you like to deal with people who get straight to the point and ready to handle business all right but i'm seeing here someone could be trying to hold on to their money they money could be tight for someone for this father that could be irritating him as well all right and he could be trying to put on for the community, although, or for his family, although his family isn't shit, 
trying to make it seem or for the community though I'm feeling like although his family still isn't shit and trying to make it seem like or trying to you know make people believe that they have things that they don't like they're abundant like they have a lot of money you know these are people who are trying to keep up with the Joneses who basically um, are penny pinching and they're just trying to make it seem like they have something that they don't all right people who are not really liked in the community is the type of family you can have or the type of family someone who could be a taurus virgo or capricorn you're dealing with could um you know have or in a, um, a air sign of aquarius gemini libra all right spirit clarify this eight of cups in reverse um but i'm seeing that someone um could have needed to move the common waters or their their household is so fucked up it's like it's um just it's distraught all right it's i mean or someone is distraught but it's just like a lot of chaos it's a lot of um discord okay things aren't put together all right yeah this is a unhealthy dysfunctional family all right the ten of cups in reverse this is people who cannot talk to to each other all right can't stand to really be around each other but they still sit in each other's faces anyway all right someone can need to have the strength to walk away from a situation but they haven't been able to with the eight of cups in reverse all right because someone could be holding on to their family for finances someone could feel like the only way they'll be able to survive is with their family and if they're not communicating with them or talking to them they won't be able to get by all right although it's very burdensome to be you know in their presence yeah this is someone who is very um gullible and naive but with the hermit as well this is someone who could be a virgo who is also um emotionally withdrawn and like i was saying but this is someone who's who makes unwise decisions okay this is someone who's a know-it-all but they don't know shit <laughs> all right the devil card wanted to come out we're gonna see if it comes out again we know that is a part of the read Devil card came out in reverse. The chariot is in reverse as well. Someone don't want to be like this or in this energy. Someone could have tried to do black magic on someone to keep someone. Um, there could have been a Scorpio involved who wasn't toxic or who wasn't um, a bad person or who wasn't into intoxications or something. That's what you could be have um, been dealing with as well. This is someone who you could have thought was going to cause you a lot of burdens or who could have felt like dealing with you brought a lot of burdens or dealing with your family brought a lot of burdens. And they had, you know, been at their peak of dealing with you guys to where they walked away. Um, there could have been a family who's a fucked up family as well that was doing black magic. All right. With the magician card coming out in reverse to try to keep someone stuck and unable to move without no form movement to block their path and someone discovered that and although they had went through a lot of shit okay a lot of burdens before they realized it they freed themselves with the death card all right and put it into all of the um you know addictions um intoxications um being blinded all right being lost this is someone who um, walked away from the worldly life as well, is what I'm seeing, all right? Walked away from people who were illusionists, all right? People who try to make things seem as if, you know, there's something that they're not, all right? That's just what someone was dealing with, all right? And this is causing them a lot of heartache of people who will always, you know, pose them, pose them out wouldn't really fuck with them like that all right someone will work really hard to try to get someone's attention but now they're canceling plans on being with these family members okay this is not the type of family that someone wants to be with and grow with any longer all right with the seven of pentacles in reverse someone is walking away all right they'll be to be with a lover all right someone feels like this is the only person who has their back although this is someone who isn't with this person or communicating with this person because they wasn't using their intuition and they were thinking too much with their wand instead of with 
you know, their heart is what I really want to say, all right? With the high priestess card coming out here in the reverse, someone wasn't using their intuition. They could have took someone for someone that they weren't, all right? Yeah, and someone into something, all right? Or brought it into um, that, or that dynamic, or whatever friendship, or whatever type of relationship it was, business, or whatever. Could have been romantic as well, yeah. There's a King of Pentacles out here in reserve. All right. Who could be facing some towers at this time? All right. Someone that is stagnated. Yeah, no. We have the Two of Wands. Okay. Someone's not using it, wasn't using their intuition. They could be getting ready to take a trip to go um, out of town, out of state, out of the country. This is an unwise choice, all right? Wherever they're going to is not going to be a good idea, all right? They could think that they're getting ready to have a new beginning, going to have their ace of pencils. They could be getting ready to go get married, but it's not going to be um, a good outcome, okay? Yeah, someone is getting ready to go broke. One second. She playing in the water, man? Someone could be thinking about taking a trip. It's an unwise choice. It's not going to be to the best. Um, it's not going to be the best outcome that they're expecting. Or it's not going to be what they're hoping for. This is the one who's having to make a choice. All right. They want to come and celebrate. This is someone who could have been in a Knight of Cups energy, a player energy. But they're not anymore. This is their hidden truths. They're seeing you. They want to come towards someone. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that they're seeing as someone who could be in a bitch energy. All right? Not wanting to communicate. All right? Yeah, don't want to communicate. That's confirmation. Right? As I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone. But this, this is judgment for someone who wasn't emotional, but now they want to be. All right? Someone could have chose a queen of swords, all right, uh, uh, air sign, all right, when they were blind with the eight of swords, all right, when they didn't know what the hell they were doing, making bad choices, all right, and they ended up losing a lot of money. It'll be a fire sign, Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius, I don't know what you have to do with this situation. Okay, because I'm looking and trying to see, and all I see is water, air, and fire out here. Yeah, someone is heartbroken by the fact that they've made a bad decision or that they pissed you off. Now you're working or someone is working. Someone is watching someone work. All right, paying attention to someone work. We got the nine of swords that was coming out. This is someone from your past who no longer wants someone is hurt that they tried to put you in competition, all right? And realizing that this is someone from your past or from someone's past. Now they're seeing that they're not going to have a new beginning with you or not going to be able to, all right? This is someone who could have wanted to that you put an ending to this with the world card, okay? And the death card did come out here as well. Could have been a Scorpio, all right? But they put an ending. This could have been someone from your past that you're dealing with, okay, Gemini? doesn't have to be or this is someone who you know um this is someone that's dealing with this as well but keep in mind that these placements for um you gemini could be um you could be a sun sign of any other side but the placement or venus is could be any of those as well as your sun moon rising okay north south or um yeah or south node all right Yeah, someone had a lot of choices, okay, could have had seven or more choices, all right, 
someone wasn't willing to compete because they realized that that caused them a lot of pain as well or someone's realizing that that's what happened when they had you in this energy or tried to put you in this position and now they see um that that's not an option spirit what is the outcome of this situation okay for gemini what is it that you want the earth to know there's going to be balance all right this person isn't going to betray you could be a sagittarius with the temperance card we have the two of cups this is someone you're going to end up in a relationship with and be with someone who's not going to cause you any burdens bring you burdens or cause you any um reason to be upset okay this is someone who's mad that you found out the truth or could have been or someone is upset in this situation could it be a water sign um doesn't have to be but they're upset or bitter that you know about um someone they could have been dealing with which could have been an air sign okay um someone could have put an end to someone putting in and bringing burdens into their life um could have been their family doesn't have to be okay or it could have been a partner who they have a family with who they no longer want to be a part of a dynamic with they feel like they made bad decisions when they were um with this family okay feeling like it wasn't a good choice um to listen to them possibly to put you in competition or to have you you know be a part of someone's I'm hearing sex, sex capade, so you could be dealing with someone who's overly sexual, but that doesn't have to be, but um, I'm also hearing someone who wanted you to be a part of a race, so someone wanted to see who would be quick, the quickest to be dumb, or I don't know, something of that sort, and that's not who you are, someone didn't want for you to use your intuition as well with the high priestess in reverse but you did and you walked away with the death card okay and we do have the world out here and now because you did someone is not able to have growth with the ace of pentacles in reverse someone is not able to be happy meanwhile here you go okay or oh, well this is, this could be your energy you could be a taurus virgo or a capricorn sun signs moon sign okay any of those um, placements but um you do have a lot of abundance meanwhile this person who made a bad choice doesn't all right you're discovering a lot all right yeah you're seeing that you have a lot of options you're leaving people out in the cold not starting any new beginnings all right you're protecting yourself you're moving forward taking action towards happiness the overall um the overall energy is the world card this is the ending a completion to toxicity really and someone is going you're going to end up the overall energy is that an outcome of the situation is that you'll possibly end up in a relationship with um a, a fire sign a sagittarius okay or a gemini doesn't have to be but that is what i have for you at this time so please do thumbs up the video okay gemini you could be getting in a relationship with a sagittarius or another gemini or that's just what the what is going to be okay um you could be walking away from a relationship with someone who could be a water sign all right or an air sign but um please do thumbs up the video and i will be seeing you all real soon thank you for stopping in and make sure you have yourselves a blessed prosperous fulfilled and prosperous day and until i see you again bye